Honorable Mr. Justice S.K. Krishnan, Dr. Amar Prasad Reddy, Mr. Benil Das Nadar, and friends, my colleagues, Law Secretary, my colleague, my, our DGP, colleague police officers, and friends. It's an absolute personal honor to be here for this cause. It's so rare and so high quality. I remember Amar came to see me a month and a half ago, less than two months ago from Chennai, and he presented me this book. That was the first edition. And when I went through that edition on cybercrime, it was such a wonderful documentation, all compiled in one volume on cyber crimes. And that was the time uh, we, we were, my DGP and I, we were discussing how do we make the uh, Pondicherry have special cells on cyber crime investigations. We were looking for the right kind of training programs, right kind of faculty, right kind of training material. And I sent this book straight away to our DGP and said, connect with them straight away and we, let's get going. I think he probably did, and uh, now we know where to go. So we're very grateful to you, Amar, for this volume and this uh, the offer that you've opened offer that you've made to make Puducherry the hub, the, this a unit territory which is which is so well prepared for managing cyber crimes. We will be preparing our Puducherry police prosecution judiciary all three together to fight uh, and detect immediately, prevent, pros investigate, prosecute, and then commit all four areas of, uh, uh, of cyber crimes. These are crimes of the future. When I look at cyber crime, what is cyber crime? Today, the police prisons is full of small thieves, small crimes. But cyber crime is a crime of billions. It's a crime of billions. And it's, it's worldwide crime. This crime when our prisons, prisoners are being launched, are prisoners who've done local crime with very little uh, uh, economic cost. But the crime, the cyber crimes are crimes which can wreck international security. It can international, a complete uh, wreck international systems. It can ground us completely. It's just such a serious crime. Cyber attacks are one of the it's like no less than nuclear bombs because it wrecks completely all, it puts it to disarray, disorganizes you completely. So therefore, it's a very major, major area, technology area to be understood and learned. We will, from Pondicherry Police, Pondicherry Prosecution, Pondicherry Judiciary, we need you. And we should start, Pondicherry could be the best union territory, the most learned, uh, abreast modern in cyber crime attacks. That's why you have a lot of That shows how seriously you have my all, all even our police colleagues, the, the superintendents of police who are the, going to be the investigators. And you have our trainees, our police training schools. There should be not a single policeman or woman in Pondicherry police who would not know and understand cyber crime and how to respond to it. So we'll work with you closely. It's a boon to the uh, law and criminal justice system of Pondicherry. I have the following thoughts with you as what next, what do we do meanwhile? Number one, look at, since you are dedicating yourself, you're giving this whole volume free, if somebody was to put, buy it from the market, it would cost not less than three to four thousand rupees, but you've given away your first edition in thousands to people first free. So this is, speaks of, of a very, very major contribution in this field of national cyber safety and security and stand, setting up standards. I've gone through this chapter, some of these books. They're exceedingly well written. And it's not technical in language. You can run through it much faster. Are these following ideas for you further to take it since you are not going to continue to go in for third edition and more? Number one, I think what we need is a common number on cyber crimes as one common number so that people who are attacked let's say by a debit card recently is all about debit cards it's a lot of cyber crimes happening on on phone calls and many other these are very minor things i'm telling you but what do i do 
where do I go? So there could be one phone number, one number for cyber crimes. Just as we have a one number for missing children number, so could it be for cyber crimes. One number, you can choose a toll free number where anybody involved, anybody is a victim of cyber crime, minor or major, they can call this number, number one. Number two, offer an online training program for training cops. Whether they and they link to police training schools, police training colleges, police academies, so that there's one standard. So online training program and just not online uh, text, go into online video conferencing. That at such and such hour, you can be trained. The media would like to be trained because the media is reporting crimes. So what is it that they report? Everybody, we are all grow come after cyber crimes. We've all done our schooling in college after uh, the much before cyber crimes came. Therefore, we are not cyber crime investigation um, uh, savvy. We have an idea what it is. So those of us who make a special effort will understand. Those who don't will not. Therefore, we can have an opportunity to attend this class of yours. Uh, so it will be called the uh, electronic class, the e-class for uh, cyber crime. So you can choose a weekend class, one hour free. Don't say just register and attend. So then you can have a QA and a with people around the country saying, I had this problem, where do I do, where could I go? A police officer could also check with you. So you could be the teacher, called the e-teacher on cyber crime. Second is this. Third is going for supporting NGOs. NGOs who could be the link between that person and so because police officers have so many pressures of law and order and other crimes. Therefore, could we have NGOs also trained who are oriented like a uh, uh, technology train who could be lord links around the country and that could be co the, the community participation in this crime. Fourth is university courses. Continue to link yourself with updation of university courses and the teachers and the faculty. You need to uh, connect with the universities as well so that that training, those courses stay up to date. And obviously the student could also, right? Whatever you may be doing, I'm only endorsing it, but these are ideas which you set me thinking that where do we go from here? Fifth, my point was common data, common data where crimes have happened. What are the patterns of crime which are happening? There is, just as you would have, let's say, a number called 1080. What if, suppose you have a 1080. Then whatever is connect or cyber crimes work with Ministry of Home Affairs, state uh, where they're linked with crime systems, cyber crimes data, you could work with NCRB, National Crime Record Bureau, so that you have a common registry of analyzing uh, cyber crimes, the trends in India, state trend, city trend, and prevention and plan. So another thing would be common data entry, common analysis, and uh, working on trends, and then looking at prevention strategies, what could be going back to the investigating officers, goes back to police training schools so that we can be up to date. <coughs> Guidance to people, I've already mentioned, this would come through your uh, uh, training programs, the, your IT training programs. Online, I've already mentioned. Another point which, thought, which I thought was a bit of training to computer sellers. So when they're selling the computer, they would say, five minutes, this is what is needed. This is how you can secure your password. This is how you can secure, make, make security. So sellers also need to be trained. That they are selling something like a bombshell. Who a man may lose all his data if that is lost. Millions could get transferred because all his data will be lost in that. And everybody does not know even how to re-fix their own password. So their basic training is missing. So therefore, some basic uh, computer training, which means it's like a driving school. You are take asking for a license, go to this driving school, take a learner license and then go. Help it like now, uh, vehicle manufacturers are now being mandated that when you sell a vehicle, you will sell it with a helmet. Now, it's for road safety.